May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. November 29, 2023, Wednesday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, handing you over to synagogues and into custody, dragging you before kings and governors, because of my name. And this will be an opportunity for you to give testimony. Therefore, set this in your hearts, that you should not consider in advance how you might respond. For I will give to you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries will not be able to resist or contradict. And you will be handed over by your parents, and brothers, and relatives, and friends. And they will bring about the death of some of you. And you will be hated by all because of my name. And yet, not a hair of your head will perish. By your patience, you shall possess your souls. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How does your response to challenges reflect your faith in God, and what can you learn from Jesus' example of responding to mistreatment with grace and forgiveness? Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking, that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. Luke 21 verses 14 to 15. This line is embedded in today's gospel, in which Jesus makes it clear that his followers will be persecuted. Many of them will be seized, sent to prison, hated, and even be put to death. For some, this will even happen at the hands of their own family. But Jesus tells them this, to prepare them and to let them know, that these persecutions will enable them to give testimony to Jesus. The Gospel passage above explains how they are to do this. First of all, giving testimony or especially means, they are to be a witness to Christ. And one of the best ways such a witness is fulfilled is through the various forms of martyrdom. To be a martyr is to be a witness. And those who suffer persecution for the sake of Christ, and then respond to that persecution in accord with the wisdom and inspiration of Jesus, are true martyrs. It's helpful to note that if one is persecuted and responds with anger, or returns the violence in accord with their own irrational will, then they are no martyr. They simply become what they have received. They become angry and bitter people. Being a martyr requires both unjust treatment and a response to that mistreatment in accord with God's will. For that reason, though persecution is never initiated by God, it does offer the Christian an opportunity to deeply conform themselves to Christ by responding as he dictates. Jesus says that responding to persecution requires that we not prepare a defense beforehand. In part, this is because there is great temptation one experiences when persecuted by another. It is very understandable that when a person experiences persecution in any way, they will encounter anger and be tempted to fight back in a way that is uncharitable and only furthers the disorder. Responding to persecution in accord with the will of God requires great attentiveness to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, great humility, and unwavering charity directed at the one doing the persecution. Therefore, Jesus makes the promise that he will be with you in such situations, and will give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. What a grace! But this grace is only available to those who rely completely upon Christ, and not upon their own disordered passions and emotions. Reflect today upon this promise from Jesus. Some will encounter little persecution in their lives at various times. 
but others will encounter severe persecution in various ways, even from their family. Reflect upon any ways that you have experienced the unjust treatment of another, and then reflect upon your response. Were you able to immediately forgive? Were you able to set aside your anger, wounded pride, and desire for revenge? Were you able to keep your eyes on Christ and rejoice that you have been found worthy to share in the ridicule, persecutions, and sufferings that Jesus endured? Pray that you will always be open to the grace of this promise of Jesus, so that you will always respond to everyone in accord with the wisdom of God. Let us pray. My persecuted Lord, though you were perfect in every way, you endured much cruelty in your earthly life. The injustice you endured is beyond our comprehension. But your response to such persecution was perfect. You were able to transform all ill treatment into grace and mercy, offered especially for those who mistreated you. Give me the grace I need to imitate your perfect response and to always rely upon your wisdom and guidance alone. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.